Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to ATN Bangla. This is Rabir Khan with the news. First, the UP headlines. Police and administration are discharging their duties as per directive of EC and not of the government, says CEC. BNP leaders urge for taking preparation unitedly for vote revolution. EC is becoming biased by not taking any action against Tariq Rahman alleges Awami League. And Bangladesh beat West Indies by 64 runs in Chattagram Test. This is the first ever test win against the Caribbeans and Bangladesh soil. And now on to the details. Chief Election Commissioner K. M. Nurul Huda has said the police and administration are discharging their duties at the directives of Election Commission and not of the government. He informed this while talking to newsmen after inaugurating a discussion on the Election Code of Conduct with the Executive Magistrates at the Election Commission. The Chief Election Commissioner also claimed that despite allegation by various political parties, a level playing field for all has been created. BNP and Alliance leaders have urged for taking preparation unitedly for vote revolution without creating division among themselves. They made their call at a discussion at the National Press Club. They alleged that the government is creating an adverse environment to keep the opposition away from election. The Alliance leaders called upon the leaders and workers to remain in the field, ignoring all obstacles. Meanwhile, BNP Senior Joint Secretary General Ruhul Kabir Rizvi alleged that the Election Commission is working in favour of the ruling party without removing partisan officials. He made the allegation at a press conference at party central office at Naya Paltan. Rizvi added that panic has been created everywhere through arrest and disappearance to restrain people from casting votes. Awami League Publicity Secretary Hassan Mahmood has alleged that the Election Commission is becoming biased by not taking any action against BNP Acting Chairman Tariq Rahman. He made the allegation at a meeting at the National Press Club marking the 14th death anniversary of poet Tridip Dostidar, organized by Bangabundu Shankshritik Jod. Hassan Mahmood said that the participation of BNP Acting Chairman Tariq Rahman in the election process through video conferencing from London is contrary to the Election Code of Conduct. Anand Jalil Group has arranged employment for three visually impaired women in cooperation with Debate for Democracy. The appointment letters were formally handed over to the women at a function organized for the employment of visually impaired people at ATN Bangla Studio at FDC this morning. ATN Bangla was the media partner of the program. Finally, sports and Bangladesh have beaten West Indies for the first time ever on home soil to go one up in the test series by winning the first test at Chottagram's Zahur Ahmed Chaudhry Stadium by 64 runs. Earlier, Bangladesh were bowled out for just 125 in their second innings as the momentum shifted from one side to the other in each session of one of the most intriguing test matches in recent memory. Tigers, however, roared to life with the ball, sending back four Windies top order batsmen before lunch in just 5.5 overs. Sakibul Hassan and Mehdi Miraj backed two wickets each as the Tigers won a test against the West Indies for the first time since 2009. Meanwhile, one of the top all-rounders of world cricket, Saqib Al Hassan, created a record by taking 200 wickets in tests as the first Bangladeshi to do so on the third day of the Chattagram test. Besides, he also scored 3,000 runs and captured 200 wickets in 54 tests, beating English all-rounder Ian Botham's record made in 55 tests. 
And that's the end of this news bulletin. To view ATN Bangla News, browse www.youtube.com slash ATNTube News. Subscribe and remain with ATN Bangla. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.